Hello again, digital artists. Um, I'm going to do a short video here about opening Adobe Photoshop and creating a new Photoshop file. I'm using Photoshop CS4. Some of you have earlier or later versions, but this is the same in any case. So I have Photoshop open. Um, you're going to see all of my nice toolbars here, tool windows, and a big blank space because I don't actually have any project open. Oops, tapped on the desktop again. Sorry about that. So I'm going to go up here to File and tap on New. This is going to open a little dialog box. It's going to ask me to name my new project. I'm going to call it my new project. And I have my preferences set to automatically open a project with a resolution of 300 pixels per inch. I'm going to show you how to do that in just a moment. And in this dialog box, I get to choose the height and width of my new project. I'm going to leave it on a standard sheet of 8.5 by 11 paper and click OK. Now it's going to open this new project automatically in portrait rather than landscape mode. Um, I would switch my input height and width to the other way if I wanted it to be landscape. It's also automatically going to open up the project pretty small. So you'll see here on the top bar it's only 16.7% of the actual size of the image. If I want to zoom in on the Mac, I can use Command plus or minus. I believe the shortcut for Windows is Control plus or minus. So I can zoom in or out. And once the image, um, you're seeing the transparency checkerboard here, once the image gets larger than my open workspace, I'll have a scroll bar here on the right side of the workspace so I can see the whole thing. If you go into Photoshop menu in the top left here and open Preferences and General, you'll get a dialog window that gives you a lot of customizability here. I'm going to go into hmm, I can't remember which one it is. Here we go units and rulers. And you'll see here that I have a box for new document preset resolutions. And I have this automatically set to print resolution and screen resolution being 300 pixels per inch. And I suggest that you set it that way as well. Now if I want to open an existing project, I would click on File, Open and navigate to wherever I've saved a previous project. In addition, if I want to open a JPEG so that I can work on that JPEG either on its own or import it into my project, I can do that as well. Here I'm going to open up the bluebeetle.jpg, which you've seen before. I'm going to open it up. Now you may see this. Um, my digital camera is not set to have the same kind of color mode as Photoshop. So in this case, I'm going to tell Photoshop not to manage the color profile that's embedded in the image. I'm just going to click on OK. And it opens up the image here. Now the first thing I'm going to do is go to the Image menu, tap on Image Size, and you'll see here that on this document size, it's wildly different from my 8.5 by 11 that I started. So I'm going to change it to 8.5. But I'm going to have make sure that I have this Constrained Proportions box checked. And that way, it'll automatically choose the correct height. And then I'm going to change the resolution to 300 and click on OK. And now anything I do is this JPEG document the size and resolution is going to match my new project. So there you are, opening and opening a new project and opening an existing JPEG. Thanks for watching.